Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I don't really know what it's gonna be. I guess kind of like a get ready with me, um, testing some new products. Um, yeah, because I have some other videos that I wanna film and I was getting ready anyway, so I thought I might as well just film this also. So yeah, I guess we'll just get into it. I'm not putting on primer today because I put on like way too much moisturizer because uh, I was trying to use up something and there was more left than I thought so but you guys know usually I go in with my coconut skin smoothie primer from First Aid Beauty but not today we're just gonna go right in with my um, physician's formula organic wear BB cream this is what I use um, when like I want some coverage but I don't want to wear foundation even though this does pretty much perform like a foundation I've already mentioned this many times on my channel so I won't go too much into it but I'm gonna start off with about that much so I already did like um my go-to like hot weather makeup look that was my last get ready with me but this is kind of like another version of that, just with more coverage. Because in that one, I wasn't even wearing foundation. Um, and normally, like, if it's super hot outside, and I'm actually going outside today, I, I'm, I'm not actually going outside, so... But, yeah, when I do go outside, I would put on my Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint um, SPF 30 and either just leave it like that or put some concealer in places where I need it but since I'm not going outside today I'm using this product instead I actually think this has SPF in it though also um, but it doesn't say anything on the bottle I have to check the the website and I'll let you know below but if it does that's really good because I love wearing this um, product I think it's like my favorite base product in my collection so that's with one layer I mean you can see like it's not full coverage or anything you can still see my redness I think I'll put on just a tiny bit more because normally I do put more than what I showed you before so I'll go in with that much but the reason I say like it performs like a foundation is because of the texture it's just like I don't know I think it's thick for a BB cream because to me a BB cream is just like well BB stands for a beauty bomb I'm pretty sure and from what I heard like on YouTube it actually started as a product that people that just had like cosmetic surgeries would use <laughs> because um, obviously after you have a surgery your face is gonna be like well not even like a surgery like a, a chemical peel or something your face is gonna be like all red or like bruised or whatever so beauty bombs were like a product you can put on um, if you still wanted to put some makeup on but you couldn't put like a full face of makeup I don't know if that's even true I heard that from other youtubers because <laughs> it is a makeup product it just doesn't um, give as much coverage but yeah I think that looks better and I'm gonna go in with concealer anyway I should have done this first actually I'm just gonna spot conceal um, with my Kat Von D Locket Cream Concealer. Just where I need like some more coverage. And then to highlight, I'm using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. I'm just going to use a bit of this because I'm not sure if it goes, if like the formula works well with the BB cream that much for now which maybe is more than what most people would use but hmm, it's actually looking pretty good 
I mean, this lighting is horrible, as always. <laughs> uh, until I get my room reorganized, like move furniture around, I think it's just gonna have to be like this for a while. But I guess that looks okay, yeah. Sometimes I have trouble blending this concealer um, on top of other products. And usually like right under the lash line, it just like doesn't want to move. But I think it'll be covered um, with eyeshadow anyway. So yeah, whatever. So yeah, I think I'm going to put some powder under my eyes because I'm going to try a new eyeshadow palette today. Well, it's new to me. Um, it's the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I got it for 50% off, so I'm really excited about that. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do, so let's just prepare <laughs> for any potential fallout. I also think when I put powder under my eyes, it looks better on camera um, because it like blurs that area. And if I don't, like, there's always a shadow that you don't actually see in person. So that kind of annoys me. Because I don't love putting powder on, but sometimes I just feel like that's what looks better. Yeah, I'm only going to put it in those places and leave it to bake, as they say. Even though that's not really enough to bake, but... Yeah, so I actually still have it in the box. That's what the box looks like. It's the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. There's a, the colors on the back here. Uh, I like to read what it says just like to get an idea. So it says, For the adventurer, the road warrior, or the weekend escapist, no matter where you're going or what you're getting up to, Born to Run is the only palette you need to pack and never look back. From matte and neutral for meetings in San Francisco to jeweled and metallic must-have for that weekend getaway in South Beach. <laughs> I'll never go to any of those places. Or completely smoked out at Saturday night dinner with Bay. we've got you covered with options for endless looks. With 21 curated shades, a huge mirror, and a collage of our own personal travel photos, we created Born to Run to inspire you to take a rain check on reality. Now to grab this palette and run. So as you can see, it is um, made to be a travel palette. Oh, the packaging is really fun. There's like a map inside there. This is what it looks like. So those are, I guess, the owner's actual photos from what I understood. And it has some information on the back. So this is a palette, like, for the packaging, I would consider traveling with because it's like a hard plastic um, and it feels very sturdy and like they said there's a big huge mirror here a very good quality mirror like sometimes mirrors and palettes they're kind of like blurry almost but this one is really nice and these are the shades so I don't know if this palette well yeah it's not like a summer palette for me but it could be like a year-round palette because you do have like these pops of color here and then the jewel tones which to me are more like fall winter shades but like this color here you can use to brighten something up yeah and this color looks really nice so people say this is like the best palette Urban Decay has ever released so I just had to try it and it, the mirror does fold all the way around, so you can hold it like this, too. The only thing I would say is for traveling, this is, like, pretty big. To me, when I travel, like, I don't travel often. <laughs> but when I do, it's to, like, a vacation. So I'm going to, like, somewhere hot. And I'm not going to wear eyeshadow. I just know that's just not who I am <laughs> on vacation. So... For that reason, I probably wouldn't travel with it, but like I said, the packaging makes it that if you did want to travel with it, you could, so. Anyway, I don't know why I'm giving so much information. This isn't a review. Um, this is like a first impression. So I'm just gonna go in 
So right off the bat, I would say there is no shade for me to um, <clears throat> to set my lid because this shade here, which would be the one I normally use, is actually not a matte shade. It's like a satin shade. But then there is this shade here, Weekender, this one, which I could use. It's just a bit more like beige, but I think I'll use that. Is that a matte shade? Yeah. Feels very soft. I don't know if you can even see that it's quite close to my skin tone, but that's the shade here. Should I prime my lids? I already have some concealer on them. I think that's fine. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. Um, but lately I haven't been priming and I have noticed my shadows are creasing. So um, when I do a, the update video on my summer makeup basket, I'll tell you like which ones creased and which didn't because it's just some shadows you have to wear primer. Even though I don't like putting eye primer on, but yeah, that's just how it is. So I'm going to take my usual brush that I always use for the lid shades and I'm going to use the mirror in the palette. It's very heavy, like the mirror part, because it's so thick. Ooh, this is a very dusty shadow. So I'm just putting that everywhere. Yeah, it's just a touch dark for me, um, as in all over like brow bone lid shade that I set with but that's okay because we're putting stuff on top of it anyway and I can always go back in and highlight the brow bone with a lighter shade. So that's with the first shade on, not that you can see much because it's pretty much my skin tone, just a bit more beige. I don't even have a plan of what I'm doing today and I just did a warm look in my last video so I don't and it was it also an Urban Decay palette so I don't want to do the same thing maybe I'll do like a purple purpley orange so for my transition transition <laughs> that word is hard to say yeah for that shade I'm going to use yeah this color Baja the orange one here. I always tap off the excess. Uh, I'm sure you guys have noticed because it's quite loud <laughs> when I go back and edit. Um, but yeah, it's just a habit that I formed because I don't want to put too much shadow on and have it fall everywhere. And I'm very light-handed with my makeup because I'm always scared I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> so yeah, I just tap it off. Look how much, this is a very pigmented shade. You can see, but it's blending nicely. So I put, I placed it like in my crease at first, but now I'm kind of blending it upwards because I have like, um, what do you call it? Deep set eyes which are like slightly hooded. So if I only put the shadow in my crease, when my eyes are open, you wouldn't see it anyway. So I think that's um, good for now. The transition shade always looks a bit crazy because um, I just kind of put it like in a general area because I'm putting shadows on top of it. So I don't really worry about what it looks like at first. And then I'll, I can always fix it later. So that's good for now. Um, on the lid, actually first I'm going to deepen up the crease um, with this shade Hellride. This matte purple shade here. It's like a plum shade. I don't want to put too much of that. Um, at first anyway. So I'm just bringing it inwards with circular motions, focusing it on the outer 
corner here. I will say I don't think this shade is as pigmented as the orange. Um, but it's blending well. And matte purples are apparently the hardest shadows to formulate. Yeah, I think that's as dark as I want to have it for now. And I'll go back in later if I need to. But for the lid, this is turning into like a fall look, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna go in with a purple, but I don't want to have such dark makeup right now. I'm just not in that mood. So I think I'm instead gonna put the shade Blaze, this one here. It's like a um, champagne, like, sh uh, satin shade. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Ooh, that's going on better than I thought it would, actually. I thought it was gonna be quite sheer, but it's actually really smooth and like opaque i'm just going in with a clean uh, crease brush well as clean as it can get <laughs> and kind of just blending all those shades together here yeah i think i'm gonna have to go in heavier with the purple just to make it more of like a gradient i think that's enough for now um, now I'm going to wipe away the powder and do the under under eye. And with any excess, I just like to buff on my cheek here because that's where I'm going to apply other powder products. And since I didn't set my base with anything else, that will help the products to blend better. So I'm going to do the same on the under eye, actually, which is what I usually do. So I think I'll just speed this part up because it won't be anything new. I really like this orange shade Baja. I'm not bringing it all the way in because I want to keep some light there. And then some of the purple on the outer corner. And I'm just bringing that shade Blaze up in the inner corner also. So there's how the eye look turned out. It's very... Actually, I'm not done yet. I have to fix my brow bone. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the shade Breakaway, the lightest shade in the palette here. Oh yeah, that's very shimmery. Which is why I didn't put it on my whole eye. So I'm just kind of toning down the orange with this. It just felt like it was very orange on the top. Which it's still like you can see the orange when I close my eyes. This purple's looking actually quite patchy now that I... I mean especially in the camera. Not so much in person. But yeah, I had a hard time blending that out. Yeah, that I don't want to do too much more. I mean, this is just like a testing new makeup video anyway. So yeah, I tried one, two, three, four, four shades so far. Um, there's still like a whole lot more. Oh, this would have been really nice too. This color here. But yeah. Like I said, I don't want to do anything too crazy, so... But so far, everything, um, was... went on really well. I did have some trouble blending that shade Hellride, but, um... I mean, that's usually what happens with these, like, matte purple shades. They're just really harder to blend than other shadows. But yeah, I'm happy so far. I don't have any new, um, mascara or eyebrow stuff so I'll do that off camera and then we'll come back to finish the face okay I'm back I did my mascara eyebrows and I put some nude liner on the um, bottom waterline um, yeah so we'll just keep going uh, I thought I would try some more of the products in the physicians formula uh, Casey Holmes Butter Collection. This is a collab they did. Um, was it already last year? I don't know. 
but it looks like this. <clears throat> so you have four eyeshadows, um, a bronzer, blush, highlighter, a lip product, and a perfume. I'm pretty sure I already talked about this in another video. But I haven't tried the bronzer yet. I tried the highlighter and the blush. I really liked the blush. The highlighter is very glittery. Which I don't mind. Like I know a lot of people like absolutely, absolutely hate glitter highlighters. But the shade of this one is just really nice. And it only really looks glittery like in direct sunlight like it's not like you're just sitting here like this and you see glitter everywhere so it's not bad um and the texture is like super weird because i thought it was like gonna be a powder but it's almost a cream like if you can see where i put my brush in it kind of like smooths down the product it's so creamy that's a swatch that I put in the worst place possible, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So you can see there's glitter in it. So if you hate glitter, I don't think you'll like that shade. That's a limited edition shade that they made just for this collab. Um, but the blush, the bronzer, and these two eyeshadows are from their regular butter collection i actually wanted to do a whole video just physicians formula butter collection if but like i'm already using the bb cream and then i'm going to use the blush and the bronzer from here today but if you still want to see like more in depth um or maybe just like full face physicians formula i can do that because i really like this brand it is more expensive than other brands at the drugstore but um it's often on sale which kind of makes up for it so i only try and buy physicians formula when it is on sale because it's pricey but yeah so i'm gonna go in with the bronzer i'm gonna use this brush here this bh cosmetics 108 brush it's kind of like a powder brush but um if you can see like it's wider on this angle I still have yet to find a bronzer brush that I really love um, and if you guys have seen my other videos you would know I already have the physicians formula butter bronzer in the original shade which is like just called bronzer this one is called deep bronzer and now they have light bronzer but I don't know who would use like the light one because even the regular one oh it smells very strongly of tropical like coconut pineapple but yeah the regular bronzer i feel is even maybe too light for me and i'm quite fair so that's why i put it away for the summer i really like this shade though wow it's blending very nicely yeah, it is deeper for sure than the regular bronzer. Yeah, I definitely, I mean, maybe my thoughts would change in the winter, but I definitely prefer the deep shade for summer. And I think it's not just that it's deeper, it's like warmer. The regular bronzer is more like cool toned, I feel. Um, and like I said, I'm also going to use the blush. It's called Copper Cabana. It's supposed to be in their regular line. I can't remember if I used this blush in another video, if I just used it like in real life, you know, on my own time. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the shade. Um, I feel like it's quite pigmented for fairer skin tones, so I try to go in with just like a touch of product at first, and then you can add more as you go. But I think that's that's enough for now. I feel like it went too low here, and as you can see, these blushes are quite sheeny, like they leave a sheen on the face. So, 
but like most people like that right i mean you don't want to be totally matte and for the highlight I'm, i don't want to use that one again um i'm gonna use my becca ocean jewels yeah ocean jewels highlighter palette i hauled this a while back i also got this um on sale in one of the weekly wows and it has a bunch of colorful highlighter shades i want to try this yellow one here i'm gonna use my milani all over blending brush very yellow don't <laughs> i kind of like it though i just wanted like a pop of something fun yeah i don't know if you can see there and i think from like facing it doesn't look bad because the yellowness is more like an undertone so you only see it like when you move your face around i really like this palette i feel like no one like talked about it when it came out i guess because like there was already the anastasia ones and like other colorful ones and people were like yeah we already have that but i don't have any other like super colorful sh um highlighters in my collection so yeah and i remember swatching this in store when it came out and i really liked it i just didn't want to spend like the whole the regular price on it because i let's be honest like i'm not gonna get as much use out of colorful highlighters that i would with more standard colors oh <laughs> that's a lot where's my sponge just tone that down a little so now we just have to do lips and then i'm gonna set everything with my glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist that i use all the time now i think i'm gonna use this pat mcgrath what are these called i think these were the matte trance lipsticks but this is a mini size so it doesn't have the full name but you can see like the lips there it's super cute this is the shade 1995 i actually this is broken like the whole tube comes out so i dropped it on the floor and it got all <laughs> messed up but it's still usable and the regular size of these lipsticks is like 53 dollars or something crazy so i'm definitely not just gonna throw it out oh it might be quite dark well if anything i can put a lip gloss on top to lighten it yeah it's um a little darker than i wanted it to be but it is called 1995 so you would assume it's going to be like one of those 90s brown shades yeah i i like how it looks though with the eyes yeah and then so some setting spray turn this way because i have a fan on and I don't want it to go everywhere. Mm. This smells delightful. So I guess I'll try and do something with my hair and uh, change <laughs> out of my pajamas and come back to do a little recap. Okay, I'm back. It is too hot to do anything else with my hair so it's just gonna be like this but yeah just to give a quick recap um i really like how the look turned out i really like that the orange um shadow and like all the shadows except the purple which was hard to blend or i'm just like not good at blending maybe but um yeah i'll keep trying that palette and let you guys know how it goes um yeah what else did yeah i really like the um highlighter 
I love the formula of Becca highlighters. I find it hard to like, well, I actually have another new one, but I don't have it in my summer basket yet. Um, it's the vanilla quartz one, so that should be a good one for my skin tone because the other ones I have is opal and champagne pop, and I think they're a bit dark for me. Um, but that's why I like these colorful ones because they don't like leave a dark cast on the face But when you turn your head you still see like a fun pop of color. So I did use the yellow one today um, But I have used before the pink one I believe And I really like that one too or was it like a peach one? The only thing is this palette is super hard to open yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one I used before and I remember really liking it. So yeah, I'm glad I have this in my collection. And I really like the Physicians Formula Bronzer. Um, it's a really nice shade for summer. Um, I really like the blush also and I love how it gives a sheen um, on the cheeks. And the lipstick, it's not my first time trying it. I really like um, the formula of the Pat McGrath ones. I just wish it didn't break because yeah um, Yeah, I don't really know what this <laughs> video was. I guess just like a quick testing new well, some new products um, So yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like and Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye What's my hair doing weird? Bye. <laughs>